First things first, I'm going to go over the different sections of the beat. This is the intro, pretty simple intro. That's the intro then, this is the chorus. This is the verse. This is my favorite part right here. The how I made this was first made a little melody which I sampled. Um so it started off as this. So that that's what it started off as and that is just in vital like basically my own sounds that I made. Um I think this whole beat is sounds that I've sound designed myself, so you know might be sharing them with you guys soon you know maybe a little drum kit might be coming you don't know you don't know this is what the lead sound is like and this is the little chord sound um yeah the little stab chords then what i did was bounce out and then i would have got this Which, you know, it's alright, but it's pretty mid and it sounds like the other Yeet song. So there's no point in really doing it because I need to make it a little bit more unique. So what I did was pitch it down. And then reverse it. And this is the intro. And already like, ooh. Ooh. It gives it a totally different vibe. And it's lovely. And then we come to the the hook, the chorus, and it's the same thing as the intro, except you know normal pitch. But the one where I think it's the most crazy verse, um, because you just listen to it. Mm. It's um, pitched up one octave, um, so 1200 cents. And then I time switch it to half the time, so it takes up half the space. Sounds sounds alright, but then I did this, make it so it's an eight bar loop, so I made it a four bar loop. Like that is. And that's is 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 mad how how little simple things like that can change your whole sound and the whole melody. And yeah, I really experimented with that recently and yeah, I love bouncing out my melodies now and like just playing with the audio um, because even if you do like, I didn't really do anything, all I did was like pitch it up and make it quicker, but it just, it just made it sound way more interesting and just, it sounds sick, it sounds so cool. But yeah, in terms of drums, um, I'm gonna start with the intro, so the intro has this bass in it which is an 808 bass I made myself. Very, very simple, just leaving a lot of space, but giving the bounce still, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, and also those hi-hats, also sound designed by me. And then we're gonna move to the, the chorus, so this is the regular 808. The same pattern as the intro, um, just made it a little bit shorter and made it a bit louder. Then we have this kick pattern which just accents the AOA so and just makes it a little bit more punchy, hit a lot harder. And then we're gonna have the snare, which is another snare I made myself. Loveless stuff. Um, and this high hat, oh, another snare. I think this is the there's one snare that makes it punchy and one snare that gives it the body. The hat pattern is super simple. It's literally um, like a two beat phrase repeated for eight bars. This two copied it over with control B um, and then press alt U here and turned it up to here. Um, so this one, so what's that 11 o'clock? Yep, press that. It just works so well and just drives the bounce of the the whole beat. 
and I have this accent snare. So something else I did was just this little beat cut, which I think was it's really simple but really effective because Alright, so let's let's listen to it. Um yeah, so I think it's really effective and really good because it just allows the new like slightly more busy, more crazy melody to come in and so the listeners' ears can adjust to it and then they're anticipating a drop because if it just came in straight away then it would just be like oh but now they can listen to it they're like oh okay they hit the snare comes in and then everything drops back in and it, it just sounds you know it just sounds crazy you know especially like yeah i can imagine like a live performance where it drops out and it comes back in and everyone's going mad yeah how i did this was you know if you want to recreate something like this in your beats was um it was basically like this so this is how the beat would be these grab everything delete it for one and grabbed everything but like the main snare and brought it back um and yeah that's pretty much it but something i did was add a r two risers so one riser to introduce the melody and then one riser back into the drums and I think it just worked so well. You know what I mean? Go send this beat to Yeet because he'll definitely kill it. Um, And watch this video because it's gonna help you out.